One of the problems with talking to ordinary lay people about this topic is that most of us don't have a good sense of what the scientific challenge is when it comes to understanding the mind and human behavior. What exactly are the phenomena that we're trying to explain when we develop theories about the mind and the brain? And what are the constraints that we're imposing on ourselves when we try to come up with explanations? In this lecture, I want to introduce these questions and look at two approaches to answering them, the cognitivist approach and the behaviorist approach. The cognitivist approach is the one that is more directly relevant to questions about minds and computers. But it's very helpful to look at the cognitivist approach in contrast with a non-cognitivist approach, because that helps to bring out the essential features of the position. 